because it's on here. I just found a really cool way to uh, to run Minecraft, and also actually using my Xbox 360 controller, which is a lot more comfortable than the keyboard and whatever else. The controls are uh, pretty easy to follow, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this to yours. And I really like it now, because I really wanted to play Minecraft on Xbox 360, and now I'm like, oh, screw that, I've got my controller. Anyway, let's move on. The only program we're going to need here is XPatter, which is, it's kind of an older program, but, um, you can still use it for anybody on Windows 7. All you're going to need to do is go put this on your desktop, first of all download it, put it on your desktop, and you're going to have to right click and troubleshoot compatibility, and it will do the rest for you. It will detect the issues, and then it will say Windows XP Packaging. Okay, so just press try recommended settings, it will go for you. Okay, um, let's just do that. Um, okay, this is what's going to happen when you open up X Pattern. You're going to go straight to stick, and you're going to click enable, and then put your left analog stick, and press left, up, and now it's all configured. Then we go to stick 2, enable, and we do left, up, and now that's enabled too. You can go to your d-pad, you can enable that, up, down, left, and right. So now we have the d-pad and the analog working. For the buttons, all you have to do is just click one, like that, back, start, RB, LB, everything but the trigger. Don't add the triggers. Then you can go to trigger and put that in. And once you're done, you press finish and close. And then you're going to come up with this screen. Now, uh, you guys don't have anything on the settings right here. So what you're going to do is, if you click one right here, you see how it lights up. What you're going to need to do is with your left analog stick, you're going to have to press this button right here. And you're going to need to uh, follow everything that I put down. Because of my Minecraft, I have arrows down to move me. That's what I put down, so this moves me. And then right here, I put down mouse normal, because that's what moves. Well, I'm going to show you guys this in a less confusing way. So you guys are just going to have to pause the video. And look at this screen right here. This is a uh, perfect Minecraft settings. The start pauses the game, back brings up your inventory. Uh, RB and LB are your inventory slots 1 and 2. Y is to uh, sneak. X is your torch. B drops. A space. Your left analog stick moves you. Your right analog stick moves your mouse. Um, your LT is to, um, I think it's to destroy something, and your RB is to make something. Oh, 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 what happened? What happened? Oh, man down, man down. Look at the video, buddy. Shoot it. Okay. I'm going to show you my Minecraft settings now, and you're probably going to need to put it as this. These are my Minecraft settings. So go ahead, pause the video, and put these as your Minecraft settings. And then when you're done, put your sensitivity on around 160, because that'll bring it up to your sensitivity of uh, 100 or so. That is like the default. If you play on a higher, go ahead, play around with that. But now I can play my Minecraft using my Xbox 360 controller. I wish you guys could see this, but um. It's actually a lot more comfortable than having this, and I also have it hooked up to my HGTV, so it's on the big screen, it's just like having all the Xbox, and uh, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, even if it was a little confusing at times. Um, I'll be posting all the controls back in the 
info box anyway. Just in case you get bored. And you can also change these settings so you don't have to do a thin Minecraft on it.